So, so authenticated, authenticated communication functionality. So I want to capture the fact that uh, I'm over an unauthenticated network, but I want to uh, uh, send the message from one party to another party in authenticated way. Okay, so I want to say that let's not think about it for a second about a specification for a protocol, but at the service that I'm going to use as a service maybe later for other protocols. I think we can also try to, to realize it. Um, in fact, maybe we can try to do it now. So, so okay, so, so how would I uh, write this, uh, this service? Uh, so uh, I'm getting an input uh, from some uh, a, a entity which has identity A, and I somehow I have to know that's going to be in the system model, and somehow I have to know that I'm getting my input from some entity which is identity A. Uh, and this input says uh, send, and a message M, and identity B. Okay? So then uh, I'm going to output on my, so my other port to identity B, which I'm supposed to know how to send things to identity B. That's again a system model. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to send this message M. Okay, so this is just uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the functionality, right? So this is the API that I want to give to the outside, to, 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 to the outside world that uses me. Um, so, but this is, uh, this is a very strong uh, uh, functionality of service because it has no side effects. In particular, it doesn't tell anything to the simulator. So, uh, so if this is going to be implemented uh, on, on a real network with messages that are sent and the, and, the, and the environment sees those messages, then S is going to need to, to, to send those, to, to generate this without knowing nothing, okay? So, uh, um, so, so how, how can we do that? So in fact, so, so definitely, so we want to, okay, so, so right, so that's the, the, the way, one way to relax it is to send M to X, right, to, to S, exactly. Um, so, so uh, uh, okay, so I'm going to, uh, uh, so I'm going to do the following. So an input, uh, I send M to B from A, I'm going to leak or send A, B, and M, not just M, also the identity of the parties, to S, right, I'm going to send it to S. And, uh, and furthermore, uh, I'm not going to do anything further until S sends OK. Uh, and only then I'm going to send the output to, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to B, not to R, but to B, sorry. Uh, and uh, right, so here I did several things. So first I, 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 I told S what is the uh, A, B, and M, and then I also allowed the uh, S to kind of delay the output. And this is something that's more manageable, more realizable by in, in actual networks, right? Uh, uh, so this is, again, uh, this is two-way communication, right? In the one hand, I, I, I leaked information to S and also allowed S to control my output, to delay my output. So this is the, uh, the, the game here, okay? So, so here is uh, the protocol. This is A, and it's getting, uh, here it gets, uh, uh, I'm A, I want to send the message M to B. Right, and this and, and and this and this and there is a key here and a key here, and this box outputs uh, uh, A, M, B. Uh huh. Okay. T uh, uh, equals the Mac. K, A, M, B. Okay, and uh, and this is going to be sent. Uh, um, is going to be sent to the uh, to the environment, right? Okay, and then the environment is outputting uh, uh, some uh, 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 a tag, m tag, b tag, and t tag. Okay, and it is sending it uh, 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 to the party B, which has k this this box here. And this guy now makes the check. This guy, the check that he does here, let's write it here. He says, uh, is it true that uh, a, a B tag equals B? Because this guy knows he's on identity, which is B. Right? And is it uh, uh, true that uh, uh, T tag equals uh, uh, Mac with key K on A tag 
m tag, b tag, t tag, right? If this both holds, then it's going to output uh, uh, um, a m, okay? And b, never mind, to, to its environment, okay? Because that means that it's successful at sending off a message, okay? Now, in the simulation, uh, remember what's going on here, uh, um, we have the simulator, he gets uh, a message uh, uh, A and B from uh, the, uh, the ideal service, right? It chooses a key K, and then it sends uh, to the environment uh, uh, A, M, B, and T, the way the computer is the same way is here, uh, but with a key that the simulator chose. And then the environment is sending again some uh, uh, A tag, M tag, uh, M tag, B tag, and T tag. And the simulator is going to do the same uh, uh, verification that the, that the receiver is doing. It's verified that B tag equals B, and the T tag uh, verifies. And if yes, it's going to send OK to the, uh, uh, to, 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 the, uh, uh, to the trusted service, in which case the trusted service uh, is going to output to the environment uh, uh, um, the message. So the, the, it, you got here A and B, and uh, in which case it's going to send A and B outputs from, from the B side. Okay? So that's the, uh, so that's, uh, uh, that's the simulation. And I'm, the, the argument is that uh, from the point of view of the environment, these two experiments look exactly the same, except for two cases. Okay, so, so, so we, again, the one environment sees, the environment sees that it, it chooses uh, uh, A and B, uh, and then it gets a message here with A and B with a tag, and then it gives up some, some other thing, uh, uh, some potentially forged message, with a different message with a forged tag, and then it uh, checks to see whether it gets an output or doesn't get an output on the, uh, on the, on the receiving end. Okay? In the ideal model, it knows that, uh, um, so in, in the real model, it knows that it will, uh, so it will get an output on the receiving end if and only if uh, uh, it managed to, uh, uh, to forge the Mac. Right? When the buzzer has mean to forge the Mac, it managed to, uh, or it managed to, to, uh, to pass the, the, uh, the checks. That means that, uh, uh, that B prime equals B. That's the only way in which the output and the tag verifies, right? So, uh, so what tag verifies means that either it actually replaces the tag that it got, it just, send, it just copies it together with uh, A and B, in which case it will happen, or it managed to generate an A prime or an M prime and a T prime that verify without having seen them before in which way, uh, uh, in which case it actually forged the map, okay? So that's uh, 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 what happens here, right? In the, in, in the ideal setting, uh, let, in the ideal model, let's see what's, what's going on. So again, the environment is putting A, uh, 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 M, and B here, and it gets uh, uh, A, M, B, and a tag, exactly the same distribution in the ideal world, so here the tags, the, the, the key was generated by the simulator here by the party, but it doesn't matter. It gets exactly the same distribution, right? And again, it output, it generates uh, 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 this potentially for the, uh, a tuple. And let's see what happens here, when, in which cases uh, it manages to, uh, to get an output here, okay? So uh, if definitely it will never get an output if B prime is not equal to, to B, because, in the, because if it's not equal, then the simulator will not send OK. okay? The only way it will get an output if it's B equal, e, e, equal to B, and this, uh, this tuple verified as a Mac, in which case the simulator will say OK, and the output here will be the A and B that were sent. So the only case in which it will be different is the case in which it actually managed to generate a forge tag, uh, uh, forge tag here, and then in the real system, it will see the, uh, the forgery come out. And in the ideal system, it will still see the, the, the original message come out, not the forgery. So that's going to be the difference. So here it's for one message. 
And uh, uh, actually, it's a good point. Hang on to that. We'll get to that later. So because I, I, will, I will want to say that uh, uh, it's a cable message because you can compose. And you can have different messages, different, uh, 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 different I, I, this functionality uh, uh, was written for a single message. Uh, and, uh, and, and that's what makes it, uh, uh, this is what makes it uh, 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 simple. And that's what makes the analysis simple. And I'm going to tell you that, look, this is, uh, uh, this is a feature because later when you want to talk about different many messages, then uh, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, this. You just you apply the composition theorem. But then you're going to have to, then you're going to ask me, uh, rightly so, then how are you capturing the fact that maybe the Mac is only secure against, uh, here I could use the Mac that's secure against a single message. And for many messages, it's a mark that has to be secure for many messages for a single key. So I'm going to deal with that, but I'm going to answer you later. It's, a, it's going to be a good discussion, actually. Um, but OK, so let's keep hanging on to the thought. Um, OK, so this is the authentication uh, um, message. OK, so now let's try to capture secure message transmission, not just authenticated. Let's try to say that now my protocol also has to kind of keep it the, the secrecy of the message. OK, so now I'm, how I'm going to capture it, I'm just going to change the function, functionality a little bit. And uh, I'm going to ascend to the simulator, not the message itself, but uh, only the, the, the length of the message, say, if this is what I want to do. OK, so now the simulator has to do the same thing, uh, uh, but without the ability to see the message. Uh, uh, just uh, seeing the length of the message. Now they have to simulate the entire communication uh, without that. So now it has to do something else, right? So now it has to encrypt, then now, we, now the protocol has to encrypt, etc. right? I'm not going to go there, but we can do it, but it's going to take more time. But uh, uh, now we're going to have to do, uh, uh, to, to do an encryption and simulate an encryption and, and, and try to do it this way, right? And if you want to do... Uh, 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 um, so, so in fact, now you have to do two things. You have to do, if we are thinking again to, to implement it over uh, a completely uh, uh, unauthenticated network, we have to do both encryption and authentication, right? Um, and um, so we can actually do it in one of two ways, right? We can do it either in, as one protocol, right? Uh, and they just do it uh, as encryption authentication, or we can try to do something more modular, right? We're trying to do uh, 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 first do authentication, that is as a first layer, because we just realize the authentication functionality, and then do encryption that assumes authenticated communication and just use it as a composed way, in a modular way, right? And uh, uh, we're not doing, not, let me not do it yet because we didn't do composition yet, but just to, to keep you thinking. And in fact, the, uh, the, the kind of, uh, you know, people know that there's the paper on the right way to do combined encryption and authentication. And the, and, and the right way to do it is to uh, uh, first encrypt and then mark the ciphertext, which exactly what corresponds to this layering of, of messages in, in this way. So uh, uh, and this, this, the two things, one on top of the other. 